Hey everyone, it's Eva Migajono. Welcome back to more Pokemon Crystal. Last time, we kicked Morty's ass, which is actually awesome. And we also picked up the HM Surf for Croconaw. And in this episode, we're going to head out towards Olivine City, which is kind of our next destination. Where did you say you're from? New Bark Town. Crystal was over there, right? Come along with oh really? Uh, anyway, this is Route 38. There are so many trainers on this route. You're gonna probably want to battle them. I will come back and battle them for experience, but uh, not now. <laughs> My main goal is just to get to Olivine City, really. Oh wow! One of the rarest Pokemon you can find on this route, and it appears right now. Tauros. Tauros is a brilliant, brilliant normal type Pokemon. Um, you can also find Miltake on this route as well, which is bleh. it's a good Pokemon though. Okay, let's see if we can get around you. Yes! Oh, I'm okay. I don't even know where I'm going anymore. But anyway, uh, let's quickly visit up here. And let's see what you have to say. Moo Moo is sick. She needs lots of berries. Moo Moo is sick. She needs lots of berries. This is the Moo Moo farm, so yeah. <laughs> it's Cry's week. No. I don't have any berries, so that's really a shame. Oh, anyway, if you go to that spot there, you'll find a nugget, which you can sell for 5,000 Poké Dollars. And over here is a mint berry. I guess you could use that to heal Moo Moo. Uh, if you come in here, the farmer's like, Meow, oh, my cows are sick. Hey, he's not producing any milk. So, yeah, um, my milk tank ain't giving me milk no more. This here farm's got famous milk. Um, but anyway, yeah, um... Uh, after you heal Moo Moo, um, using lots and lots of berries, uh, you can buy- Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Um, anyway, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by a trainer, um, you can buy Moo Moo Milk for 500 Poké Dolls, which will heal- oh, for the love of God! But anyway, it will heal 100 HP, which is actually kind of cheaper than a Super Potion, really, but, um... Anyway... Pokefan Ruth, um, she has Pikachu, it's level 17, and I'm pretty sure that, uh, Dig will be able to one-hit KO this thing, I mean, it's weak to it, and all that sort of crap, so... And it's using Double Team, I swear to God, if you miss Growlithe, I'll kick you in the face. Okay, good! Okay, sweet. Um, now I didn't honestly didn't even mean to battle her. Let's try and get. It. Why are you ringing me now? Oh, you did not just do that again. Oh, would you stop doing that? And I was supposed to go around him, but well then, that was a mistake by me. Pokey. Male, male Poke. Have any of you guys seen the Generation 4 sprite for the male Poke fan? There's a kid behind him and it looks like he's like doing it from behind and it looks like he's enjoying it too. It's really disgusting. Ah, oh, geez, Nintendo, you and your innuendos. That's sort of like that team. Or that paired team somewhere in Hard Gods or Silver. They have an Onyx and a Cloyster. I mean, really, th Nintendo, seriously. Ah, whatever. Anyway, uh, now there's two trainers. That trainer on the left of the screen that we saw, you can only battle at night. You'll get here, and you'll get stopped by this guy, your rival. You again. There's no need to panic. I don't bother with wimps like you. Speaking of weakling, the city's gym leader isn't here. Supposedly taking care of a sick Pokemon at the lighthouse. Huh, <laughs> poo hoo. Does that sick Pokemon go? A Pokemon that can't battle is worthless. Why don't you train at the lighthouse? Who knows? It might make you a bit less weak. Oh, don't get out of his way. Make him earn his way to get past you. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm going to heal the Pokemon Center. I'll see you guys in a second. Well, it turned out being a lot more than a second because it is now nighttime. Yes, those recording breaks. Anyway, you're going to want to come in here because you're going to want to 
get a new HM, which you can actually find in here. If you simply talk to one of the people in here, which is this guy. Okay, so we got HMO for strength. Oh my, your buff bod. Are you, what? Okay. I suppose you're trying to mean your buff body, but that just sounded really gay. Ah, uh, but anyway, um, strength. We're going to go ahead and teach it to Fampy because, I mean, he has headbutt, but strength is a stronger move. So, I mean, if I'm going to teach him any sort of normal type move, I'll go with strength over headbutt because it's a lot stronger. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, now that that's over, I guess we could... Hmm. I'll put coughing at the front of the party because I really want him to level up. Um, pull this guy, all of one's cafe menu is chock full of parties. Beefy, what is with everyone talking about beefy and buff stuff in that? I think it might be, is that a gay bar? I mean, seriously. Um, really quickly, out here is Route 40, but this is a new thing that was introduced in Pokemon Crystal, so you can't do this in Gold or Silver. This is a battle tower, it's also known as the Battle Frontier in Hard Gold and Soul Silver. Um, you can take on a series of challenges here, ranging level Pokemon 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So, uh, yeah, it's honestly kind of fun, I guess. Maybe I might cover this in a later episode. I don't really know. Battle tower rules are written here, you read the rules? No. Um... Okay, let's get away from this place. Okay, now, let's head over to the Olivine Lighthouse, which is on the, uh, the eastern end of the town. Well, southeast, whatever. Right, the Olivine Lighthouse, also known as the Gl Glitter Lighthouse, in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I love the music in this place, it is so amazing. Um, but uh, okay. There are a lot of trainers in here, and you're really gonna wanna battle them, I guess, because they do give away good experience. Like this guy here! Mm, this is no place I'm playing. Who the hell said I was even playing? I love how, like, everything that some sort of, uh, I don't know. I swear to God, Nintendo's, like, vision of old people is just holy crap there's a kid over there he must be playing what sort of an implication is that I mean if they really take kids these days into perspective that all, all they'll be doing is sitting at home playing their PlayStation or Xbox or even on the internet doing absolutely nothing or searching up porn so how and we poisoned it sweet okay um oh yes and you missed and I didn't even know what I was talking about earlier. I mean, really. But anyway. Uh, good tackle, I guess. Oh, and of course. Ah! Uh, well, anyway, poison will kill him anyway, so I don't really care. Um. And down it goes. Okay. I'm always serious, bro. Wow, I promise to never say that ever again. Oh, and I'm oh, not answered. I need a freaking awakening. There we go. Okay, sweet as. Really, the I mean, the lighthouse in this is wow, and a trainer. What the hell, it looks like he's like making some sort of fart noise with his arm. But I'm um, anyway. Um. The lighthouse of this is called like a big circle, that's all it really is, I mean it's kind of boring and I honestly prefer it in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, at least it's kind of interesting I guess. Mm -hmm. And here's another required fight, I'll only be showing the required fights in this place, so... Mm, yes, but anyway, screw this fight. Screw you man! Anyway, we've defeated Preston. These guys are rich man! Oh my god, did you bring me for my Firestone? Please tell me. No, I don't care about your Tangler. Ah! Screw your Tangler. You're almost as bad as Joey. 
There should be a schoolboy Alan meme going around. Um, anyway. Uh, I'll show you guys we can find some items in here, actually, some mainly hidden items. But first, you gotta battle this guy. Ah, screw this guy. Jasmine must be worried sick about the Pokemon here. She won't even smile these days. That's just supposed to be some sort of stupid punchline because that was just gay. But, um, here's the fart sound man again. And he's got a Krabby! This is gonna take forever. Ah, uh, anyway, now that that fight is over, um, there is an item just over here. Okay, TM34. What is that? Uh, what do you think? Swagger, okay, that just all it does is confuses your opponent, but it raises their attack sharply. It's honestly a really, really crap move. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We got a flying type guy here, I think. Yeah. You know what, buddy? Screw you. He's got a Spearow. Wow. Okay. But, uh, yeah. As you can see, we're kind of in a bit of a situation here. Uh, yeah, that guy kind of got lucky on me in that fight. And, yeah, everything just sort of went downhill from there. There's a last item here. It's a rare candy. Hmm. But, um, anyway, continuing towards the top of the tower, I know, even though we just fell down there, we have one fight here left to go. Jasmine's just sitting here, I'm meant to go back with me, and nobody get in my way. Well, I'm standing in your way now, and if you really wanted to bring Jasmine back, last Connie, why are you just standing here waiting for trainers to come by? I mean, really, if you really wanted to find Jasmine, or if you really wanted to bring Jasmine back, you wouldn't be just standing there. Okay, let's quickly get rid of this Marrow because it's annoying and I cannot believe that the one time I only have a Water-type Pokémon, I battle someone that only has a Water-type Pokémon. Of course that's going to happen. I mean, it's not like I have anything good against Water-types anyway, but still, it's the principle. Yay! And you only give up- you only give off 261 experience points? You suck! Ah, come on, Pokemon, yeah. Screw your Pokemon. Okay, do not drop by, or do not drop into that gap right there. You're gonna to wanna to drop into that one there, because if you drop into the one next to it, you'll land in front of that trainer, and you don't want that. But anyway, that's an Aether right there, and you got these stairs here, and you should be able to get past this guy here. When he, eh, he's not looking, but yes. Oh crap, there was an item there. Wait, go back, go back. Here we go, and it is a Super Repel. Lovely. Okay, just up here is Jasmine. This Pokemon always kept the sea lit, lit at night, but it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I understand that there is a, farm, a wonderful pharmacy in Simwood, but that's across the sea, and I can't leave Amphion unattended. May I ask you to get some medicine for me, please? Anything for you, Jasmine. Ah, <laughs> uh, you sound like you're kind of sick, man. And just up here is a super potion. That's the last item that you can find in this place. That covers all the items you can find in the lighthouse. That sounded ridiculously dramatic. <laughs> uh, okay, let's make our way back to the bottom of this dump. And it's the quick and cheap way of doing it. Would you even do this in real life? Jump down holes that are like 10 meters in height? No way, I wouldn't do that five times. That's just ridiculous. But um, anyway, that's pretty much all I really planned on doing this episode. So, next time Pokemon Crystal, we'll head over to Sandwood City, which is where the next gym is. See you guys then!